and welcome back to the game hub for yet another sentinel ship hunting video and today i'm bringing you 15 new exclusive sentinel ships now all of these sentinel ships were found within the euclid galaxy which is the first galaxy in this game so make sure you're there before you jump in any portals now we have some absolute bangers today all these ships are based on the supercharged slot placement not the class so some of these are A, B's and C's, but once upgraded to S, they come out with some absolute banging supercharged slots, at least the best ones we can find, including one that's a four square supercharged slot layout. Now, every single ship we find, we do put a communication board down for you to find it easier. Now, the most important part is you are in Euclid before you use a portal. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay, let's go with ship number one on today's list. Now, the first one starts life as an A-class ship. Now, this one is just white and green. Very simple style ship. It does have the small rear bat wings that are black at the back. It does have the stinger up there as well. So very simple, very small, very green. Now, the supercharged slots, when you first look at them as an A-class, you see it's a 2-1. Once you've upgraded to S on this particular one, you can see there's three there together on the right and one on the left. Now, in the air, it does remain very simple. Not much happens other than the wings dip down. But if you like them simple, small and green like I say, then maybe this one's for you. Hmm, next. Now, ship number two on today's list. This is another one that starts life as an A-class. Now, the color scheme on this one is gray. Now, we do find a few grays, but not many are hunted. Now, as down to the chat, they choose whether we hunt or next. But this one, they wanted a hunt and hunt we did. Now, the only one we could find was the A-Class that did turn into a R3-1 when it's an S. Is it good enough for you? It is the best we found, but in the air, this thing doesn't look too bad if you don't mind the mandibles. Now, grey and white, very simple, very sleek, but is it for you? Next. Okay, now with ship number three on today's list, this one starts life as a C-Class. But remember, this is not about the class, this is about the end result. Color scheme on this one is red, white, and black. Very small, very nice with the pincers on the front there. Now, I am a sucker for this style and I do have one myself. Now, supercharged slots. C-Class, you only see one initially, but once this particular C-Class is upgraded, you can see all four over there on the left-hand side. Very nice placement. And again, this looks fantastic in the air. Many people have asked me about this ship because they saw a silhouette in one of my thumbnails. Well, this is it. It's beautiful, but do you like it? Next. Okay, now ship number four. Now this one starts life as a C-Class. Now it's not often the chat asked me to hunt on these small ones, but they said hunt, me and the crew. There's four of us that do this. We hunted it out and the best one we found was this C-Class. Now, supercharged slots, obviously one as a C-Class. Once upgraded to S-Class, this particular one, you have a free one SC layout. So if you like them this small and you want it powerful, this is not a bad little choice. What do you think of this one though? Is it too small and too minimal? Hmm? Next. Okay, now ship number five on today's list. This is another one that begins life as a C class. This is a little beauty, this one. This one is a white dragonfly, full size wings. You do have the stinger on the top, no rear engine. It does have the under section, which does give it that extended look. Supercharged slots, as it's a C, you only see one to start with. Once you fully upgraded this one, it turns into a free one, and a free in the middle, and one on the right. In the air, this thing looks like a nice, sleek little beauty. Look at that. Very pointy. Do you like them white? Do you like them small? Have we found one that you like? Banging slots. Next. Okay, now moving on to ship number six on today's list. Now, this one also starts life as a C-Class. Now, remember, all the details you need for each ship are top of the screen. Every time. Now, lovely little colour on this one. Dual colour of blue and teal. What do you think of this one? Supercharged slots, once you're fully upgraded, turns into three on the left and one over on the right. Strange colour scheme, but it kind of works because it's unique. What do you think of this though? In the air, it doesn't look too bad. Not too much going on, but the full-size wings do finish this one off. Next. Now, moving on to ship number seven on today's list. Now, this one begins life as an A-Class. Now, the color scheme on this one, again, quite a unique one, is blue and green. Now, it does have the mini wings on the bottom and the rear back wings as well. It has the nice under wings that are pointy rather than completely squared out. 
Now, supercharged slots, once you've fully upgraded this one, you get four over on the right hand side. Do you like this one? In the air, it does stand out quite nicely due to that nice color scheme of green and blue. I wouldn't fly it, not my cup of tea, but it is quite unique. What do you think of this one? Next. Okay, now moving on to ship number eight on today's list. Now, this one starts life as an A-Class. Again, all the details top of the screen. Now, color scheme is yellow and black. You have the pincers on the top, which give it the extended thrusters too. And you've got the tank feet on the bottom. You've got the dual layer of black wings there too. Supercharged slots as the A-Class, you can initially see three over on the right. Once you've upgraded it to S-Class, you can see the fourth one over on the left. Three one, final form as an S-Class. Now, once in the air, not a lot changes other than the wing step down and the top does kind of drop just a tiny amount, but it's not my style, not for me. What about you, next? Okay, now ship number nine on today's list. This is another one that starts life as a C-Class. Now, all the details at the top of the screen. Color scheme on this one, white and black. Deep vent wings there and the rear bat wings. Hmm, very simple. I did like this one. I kept it for a little while. Supercharged slots, when it starts at C, you only see one. Fully upgrade this one to S-Class and you can see it turns into a 3-1 setup. Lovely. In the air, very, very simple. Not a lot going on, but angles, beautiful. Works well in white with that big, fat, wide front. What do you think of this one? Next. Okay, now moving on to ship number 10 on today's list. Now this one begins life as a B-Class. Color scheme on this one is red, black, and purple. Now this is what they call a TIE Fighter. So it changes form once you get it in the air. Supercharged slots, when we have to look at them initially, you can see one on the left, one on the right. Now, once you fully upgrade this particular one to S-Class, it turns into a free one setup. Again, what, like I say, once you're in the air, the ship itself does expand and open up and it takes on a whole new form. I am a sucker for these ships. I do like them. Do you like it? Next. Okay, now moving on to ship number 11. Another one that starts life as a B-Class. Now, this one is red and black, full-size wings and tank feet. Do you like the color scheme on this one? I've got one that's all red, but I don't want one with purple in it. Now, supercharged slots, we can see three once it's fully upgraded over on the right and one on the left once it's upgraded to S-Class. In the air, it looks as good as all dragonflies do. The wings could have done with some prongs maybe, but overall, not a bad little ship. Do you like this style of ship? Next. Right, now ship number 12 on today's list. Now this one is another ship that starts life as a B-Class. Now all the details, top of the screen, color scheme on this one, again, quite unique, green and blue. Now, as the pincers on the top, deep vent wings, extender thrusters, not a bad little layout. Now, supercharged slots, as you can only see two at the start, you need to upgrade. And once you do to S-Class, you can see all four over there on the right. Not all touching, sadly, but does the color scheme suit you? Does it appeal to you? Now, it's not my cup of tea, but the chat wanted a hunt, so we hunted. This is what we found. Next. Now, moving on to ship number 13. Now, this one starts life as a C-Class. Again, this is based on supercharged slots. All the details top of the screen. Now, this one comes in a blue and white. Pincers, tank feet, a lot going on. Prongs, thrusters. This is a nice layout if you like this style of ship. Now, as it's a C-Class, you don't see much at the start, but once you've fully upgraded this one, this particular ship gives you a free one supercharged slot layout. In the air, very fresh. Very fresh indeed. Now, do you like this color scheme? Would it suit you? Hmm? Let me know in the comments. I like it, but I won't fly it. Next. Now, this ship is a long time coming. Some of these files are from 2023 and I never got round to sharing them due to many various reasons. This ship I call Scorps. Scorps, you're finally in a video, my friend. You finally made it, Scorps. How do you feel? I still have this ship. Many people ask me about this ship. It is one of my fastest ships. It starts life as an A-Class, upgrade it to S-Class, and you get the L4 over on the right-hand side. And it is magnificent. It looks beautiful. It has the speed and the power. Oh, I love this ship. Still in my collection. It's been in my collection for months. Proper OG ship. Next. 
Right, now moving on to the finisher, ship number 15. This one starts life as a C-Class. Now all the other files, like I just mentioned, came from 2023, or most of them. This one was found last week. How did this get to the end of the video, which is normally one of the best ones? Well, there's a little something about this one that makes it special, and that is the slots. It is a four square SC layout. Now I know there's a few people that do appreciate the four squares. Now as it's a fresh find and we just happen to be making the best ship video, well, I squeezed it on the end. It's not a bad looking ship if you're looking small and simple. The deep vent wings do give it that depth from the front and the angle, the profile, it's not bad. But would you take this one? Now I need to mention it's not the fastest ship I have, but it is now the second fastest ship I have. Now this speed 959 is without the photonics core. So it will go up to 1100 with photonics in. Lovely little ship. So that is all of today's 15 ships. What did you think of them? Was there any that you liked? Hmm? Like the video, subscribe, join our Discord, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.